It's I'm right just now. saying. I mean, I mean, who does play defense? Kawhi Leonard. Okay, like like these the guys who play defense. Kevin Durant. The guys who play defense obviously play Kevin defense. Durant. Yeah, and and. And, and, and let me say this. Hey, maybe if these guys are playing so, more defense, they'd be winning more chips. To cut, to cut your narrative right off before you even get started, <laughs> we're now saying that KD is ascending into, you know, pretty much best player in the league status because he said, you know what? I'm going to start playing defense now. I'm going to be too what? Uh, KD has made. Like, that has made him better now. He's as a made player. it a, right, a right. thing for him to play defense this year. Especially he wants to. Year. He said he wants to make an all defensive squad. So defense is important in order well, to be a well, goat. Well, of course it's important. I know that, but I'm talking about who really plays it. If, if the guys who play it, they obviously play it. If they don't obviously play it, they're not playing defense. Jimmy Butler plays time. These guys obviously play defense. I feel Andrew like Andrew Wiggins. You know, you can't. Don't talk to me about defense with him. I feel like you don't uh, see it enough. I've seen, I've seen him lock. I've seen him lock down perimeter guys. For so there's a lot for of possession. There's a lot of important moment. So he no, has the ability to days. play defense, which is the same thing Russell Westbrook has. Was the same thing all these guys who are uber athletic and have a nose for the ball. They can do it in the moments when they need to. So I don't want to. But I don't want to hear about these guys being you know playing being defenders or something like that. That, that's not Andrew. Like, well, like, what are you like? What are you getting at, Lee? I'm I'm just I'm just <laughs> over the you know when we start talking about a guy and we say yeah and, he, and he's and he's playing better defense you know like <laughs> yo hey, yo Lee what are you t- <laughs> why are you hating what so are you much talking about right I don't know it just, I don't know I just someone's got to make the make the, the all defense team this year yeah the guys who obviously play it. Yo, you sound like you buying into this new NBA narrative. Hey, I, I, <laughs> you you want to so see now, a one, so 170 cool to 165 to game? It's not cool to play defense anymore? No, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> so, I, think, I think the reason we don't have the lockdown defenders of old, the Tony Allens or the Doug Christie's or whoever you want to talk about, there's a lot of switching that goes on in the NBA, which never used to right. happen. There's a lot, Way more screens right. are being set. Right. There's... There's not as much ISO. Right. We're, yeah, we're, we're not seeing hero ball. More ball what did we talk about two years ago? Hero ball was a main thing that right. we used to talk about. We don't see hero ball really anymore. It's I mean, there's, te- there we go. There we but go. I said team defense is but switching. Team, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, but yeah. team defense also starts with individual effort. Absolutely. But I mean, but it's. You're hating on the effort not, right not, now. Not these guys a, are yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm hearing a little. I just, effort I just, I just don't, I just, I just don't see guys. I just don't see like, like the guys who aren't defenders. I don't see them doing anything like out of the norm. So that you wouldn't call Andrew Wiggins a defender? No, I wouldn't call him a defender. No, I don't. I said, I don't it's all he that. has right now. I don't, agree, I don't agree with that at all. Because I, because I, I call Jimmy Butler a defender, but, but is, does Andrew Wiggins play? Does he play at that level defense? No, but that's that's what we're saying is if he. If he can learn something from Jimmy Butler and Coach Coach Thibodeau, then he could be a he could be a better player. That would make him a lot better. He gives effort though. There's there's possessions where he's really good, and there's possessions where he's not. Now that will determine where he goes as a player moving forward. If he could do it all the time, he will be way better because he has the skill set to be a two way. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he, he doesn't give a hundred percent like for, for, for majority of the game. I feel like that has a lot. I feel like that has a lot to do. Just speaking of him in general, it had a lot to do with Jimmy Butler being there and Tibbs probably trusting Jimmy Butler more to handle the ball or to be that guy handling the ball or you know taking control of the game. I mean, what if, what if, what if, and they still have Cat. That, but if that, Andrew Wiggins wanted to do it, he would be doing he it. He never really had a sense of urgency like that. Well, yeah, if he wanted to do it, ain't nobody finna come in and take it from him. So, That's true. Yeah, I don't know. He's just he's very docile. <laughs> I mean, like that's just facts. He's he came in the game docile, so he's just athletic. Is he's just a super athlete. Really? Yeah, next thing I know, I'm going to hear James Harden is playing better defense. <laughs> he needs to. Shoot. Hey, he puts up the effort every once in a while. <laughs> Please. See, here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're just going to give all these guys little defensive little checkpoints now. Maybe gold star uh, if they give effort one game. Let's keep it moving. We had a, we had a coach firing this week. We've had three so far this year. Fizdale. Actually, Fizdale was second. Earl Watson and all was of them the first. Been black. Third. Third one. <laughs> <laughs> the blackest of the Moses had to go there with it. 
Jason Kidd got fired from Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis was lightweight, crying in his room, trying to save that coach's job. <laughs> coach, you want me? You want me to call the owner? Coach, you want me to? You want me to help save the job? It didn't work. Where, what are the he Bucks doing? He did give him a heads up, right? That was the reports. <laughs> Hey, hey. Giannis had to give him a heads hey. up. Yo, who came out with that report? Yo, it's crazy though that uh, that Giannis knew about <laughs> being fired before him, right? Right. That goes to show you these stars really do get that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That that, uh, that treatment. treatment. Yeah. I guarantee you, what happened? Uh, his agent got word and let Giannis know, so he wasn't shocked by the news. And that's when Giannis was like, "You know what? I'm shocked." Yeah. Let me let me see what I could do to fix this because Jay Kidd is pretty much the one who put him in the position he's in right now. Yeah, he put the ball in his hands. I, I never hate doing this, but I think you guys had two good names for coaches for the Bucks to lead this talented roster. Lead Giannis, Mark Jackson, or, da- or, or, or David Fisdale. That's pretty. Guys, mu- that's pretty much. That's pretty much. Who you guys, pretty guys team, want for any team right any, now? Any team but, that has talent <laughs> that loses a coach. It's this Fisdell and it's Mark Jackson now at this point. <laughs> wait, wait, you, somebody, I can't think of anybody else, really. Who else? I want to see uh, Jeff Van Gundy coach your squad. I'd like man. to see Jeff back. Jeff Van Gundy. Yeah, I would love good. to see Jeff back coach He's a little squad. too flustered, though. Like, I just see, I imagine him just being panicked the whole time on the sidelines like his brother. That's, the, that's that true coaching grit, though, right? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> by the way, by, I don't know if anybody saw this. Speaking of coaches, Dave Yeager collapsed on the court today. Yeah, during the game. I saw that. I saw that well, did they say what happened with that? Lightheadedness, dizziness? Shout out Dave Yeager. Just, that jogged my memory. Just hey, uh, about that. Steve Clifford just came back. They've been playing. The Horns have played somewhat better. Hey, um, good first who's, the, who's the coach that filled Where in for uh, Howard? Uh, <laughs> who's the coach Where that filled they're in, they're in for Yeager? Elson Turner, Elson Turner. The, old, the old school go. Yo, he, been, he been here for a minute. So yeah, he actually, shout out to Elston. He went to Houston and then came coach, back. And then, he, well, and then he came back, but he was on Memphis for like. Four wasn't years he with? Too. He was with Adelman, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then he went from Houston to Memphis, and then was under Lionel Hollins, and then became part of Jaeger's squad in Memphis. He he just he 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 embodies the coaching carousel that is Sacramento. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he knows Sacramento better than anybody. Yeah, let's get into that. Uh, I, I was gonna say I'm ready to get in on this. I touched that, uh, all my points. That is, is is there a new thing as a journey coach now? <laughs> a journeyman coach. <laughs> a journeyman coach. Uh, shoot, if there is, I mean, who would be that guy? Who been? Who's touched uh, multiple franchises? Dan Tony's been around the block. Alvin yeah, Gentry, been. but he's been an assistant too, though, yeah. for a lot of teams. Nate McMillan. Yeah, yeah. he's been around. We like we need to cue that. Kurt, can we cue uh, uh, Mace been around the world? And I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got, Swab? We're going into the All-Stars. Ooh. We're, we're going to blow VA. It's, 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 it's the Le- Le- LeBron Stars versus the All-Stephs. Is the all is the all Stars. The All-Stephs. <laughs> the All-Stephs versus the LeBron Stars this year. Hey, first, I want to say I really, uh, after having to have it re-explained to me. <laughs> Schwab had to come in and <laughs> drop some knowledge on exactly how this draft and everything was going to go the day of. But we were all, I had to look it up even too, because we were all still kind of confused. I, I think this is a great idea. Uh, I think that just off the fact that these guys had to pick their teams, I think it, it adds a, another level of comp because it's like, okay. Like, uh, you know, where and the fact we don't know where they got picked, we don't know like what the process was. Cass is like, okay, I got a little something the, to prove the, now. The, the lay GM really got to play lay GM, yeah, absolutely. Legally, it didn't. I mean, he, him, and like CP and them came up with this idea in the first place, though, right? Did Wasn't they? that the thing? Yeah, they, I thought, pretty sure they put together a pitch to Adam Silver stating that this would make it more competitive, that they would, uh, uh, also uh, add charitable foundations to this uh, in the in the uh, in the winnings and things like that to make it more to put more uh, to put more uh, and, importance on yeah. uh, you know actually playing and not just letting right. cats dunk all all game. So, so, so for those of you who don't know, they had a like a draft back, backyard backyard uh, blacktop draft picking sides who they wanted. Starters, so all the fans voted in the starters. Who got first pick? 
Braun did. Braun did. Braun got, now, I think it's based on who had more votes. Was it was it really like an asphalt pickup game pick? Were they all in the room? <laughs> no, but they were still picking names for their team. Yeah. It just comes. To, it just comes at a later date. Who you want, Braun? Who's left? Uh, da, da, da. I'll take that. Okay, Steph, this who left? Who you want? It was like it was. No, I think they were. I think they were. They were FaceTiming each other or something. They had like some type of but Skype still, situation. Informal. They should have. They should have televised. They should have televised. I thought they should have televised, 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 televised it too. Televised a Skype conversation. Them, nah, nah, them nah. Them picking the squad. They could have. Nah, they could have. I think you could easily do something really legit. You know, they could have had them both in the same room. It's in the middle of the NBA season, though. They could have. Yeah, they Cats is playing games. They could have made something out of this. They could have made something out of this. They spent a good twenty minutes talking to Ernie Johnson on NBA T on NBA on TNT afterwards, and I it was in a very exhilarating twenty minutes. I was just listening to them talk about it because I wanted to hear what the thought process Schwab's, was that went on it. I, I, look, <laughs> did I not? Did I not have a? I went in on the All Star game. The other day. I said the All Star game near doesn't even matter, but I was very intrigued by something new they brought to the table, other than and, East and, and West. Here you go. We did learn this earlier. They're all, the winner, winning team gets an extra hundred k. Going straight to their pocket to make it yeah, exactly. Kurt, to your point though, I think I think they could have made it. Uh, I mean, they could have monetized this somehow. You I know, what I mean, you, I, th- I think it's just the, the 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 perception in everybody's mind, like the picture, because they said it's gonna be like when you pick people on it, but it's it wasn't like that. It like we're thinking everybody's in the room and they're standing around and, uh, 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 and he's the best player or this one on this team. It wasn't like that at all though. Like yeah, not not to say that they couldn't have made it more than what it was. Which But see, I mean, it's basically like it's it basically like two K. Wouldn't it? But that's what I mean. Wouldn't it have been cool? I'm very boggled by this right now. Like, I, I, because to me, I just, I just, to me, I think it would be great to see Braun go. I'm taking KD first, and then Steph yeah. come back. Now Steph's got a list there of guys, been, they, and what now does this look like though. Kurt, it Kurt, it would have, it, it would have. Well, it's, I, it's like a sports center, like like when yeah, they're, when they're up on the board, moving yeah, them back. I don't think they need to be there. Like I don't think they need to be there. But if they got, you know, the 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 the. the Roster of players that they have to choose from, mm-hmm. just the fact that you know with the with Bron's first selection, I take KD. Mm-hmm. That would have been a moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just be, just the 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 narratives would have wrote themselves just from where the people got picked. You know who got picked last, mm-hmm. uh, the considerations for the picks and why they. And Steph, right. even, Seth even said he was trying to you 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 pick the starters and then he was trying to fill out the roster, making sure. I got a, I got a big guy. Make sure, make sure I have backup. Big you want guy. to cover all sure, positions. Yeah, making sure I have like a backup for each. Especially player. when they're choosing the reserves. And, and and you're just going at this point like, oh, Brad Beal and John Wall are available for Steph. I can pick either Brad Beal or John Wall, and then he ends up getting none of them. I, I don't, I don't think. No, I think, I, I think, he, no, no yeah. I think they're both Braun on the squad. John Wall, on, but even Braun, like, oh, I get to pick between both of them, and then he ends up getting Brad Beal two rounds later. That's the way I look at it. Can like, we almost that roster? I got it right here. Let's go. So, let's, let's get let, into this. Let's, let's start with let's start with the starters. Bron Bron Bron's team pick first. I'm just gonna name his starters first, and then we'll go over the step starters. Bron Bron's got Demarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving as as his starting. He line. had had Demarcus Cousins. That's why I said had. You got to make it pass. See, yeah, you want to talk about injuries? <laughs> you the one that never wants to talk about injuries. You bring it up again. Do <laughs> those shades off, and I'm a little scared now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, question: Who starts now for D- Demarcus? Uh, PG is now on the squad, but who starts now? I would start Russ, honestly, and just slide uh, KD to the four. Just looking at this picture right now, looking or at this, gra- looking at this graphic, who, who, who is immediately who? Who do who is who is Bron's first pick in this reserves? In after the, the starter, after the starters were picked, it's got to be Russ. Is Russ that first person? Absolutely. Or, you kidding me? Because Steph uh, would have selected Russ instantly. Or he could, fur- or he could further his narrative and and uh, select uh, K Love as his first <laughs> reserve, just so he could have his Dasa spot up, man. Let's be very clear: so K Love so is still on the board. So he could, stat- <laughs> so he could, so he could, so he could stat stuff the All Star game. <laughs> 
let's kick it over to Steph's real quick. Let's just go over Steph's. We got we got James Harden, DeMar DeRozan, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Joel Embiid. Who do you yeah, that's crazy that Joel Embiid is a starter, bro. <laughs> that's amazing. He LeVar balled his way there. Okay, we can we can almost assume that KD was picked first by Braun. Who was picked first in the starting lineup? James Steph? Harden. Harden. Yeah, I give it to Harden. Yeah, because yeah, you can't let Braun select. KD and James or Harden. Or Giannis. He might have, he might have picked Giannis first. Giannis, because Braun said he wanted Giannis. Just so he, he can get a Braun body for sure, you know? <laughs> exactly. He's, he's, a KD Bron, stopper. he's yeah. the Braun the Bron stopper. <laughs> he knows who KD always talks about. But you about. don't think you don't think that Braun would have selected James Harden? Or would he have taken stats away from Nah, him? Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think. See, Kurt, this would have been amazing to watch and see, like, why Listen, Braun picked between, him. Uh, <laughs> between James Harden and Kyrie Irving, Braun probably pick uh, Kyrie. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because Kyrie then, is his point guard. And then Steph picked James. Okay, who's the la- of the of the t- of the eight starters that had to get picked? Who's the last pick? Of the DeRozan. Of the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because DeRozan's like, uh, like I gotta pick him. He's a starter. A, I gotta. A, a bronze I need team a two guard. <laughs> look, look, look. Hey, back to bronze team hey, Jimmy, quicker. Jimmy Butler and Clay Thompson could start in front of De- uh, DeRozan. Right, <laughs> right. right. I'm. I guarantee you, Steph. Uh, Steph would have picked Clay over DeRozan if he could. For sure. Lightweight Dame could start over DeRozan. Is Dame on Steph's squad? He's on Steph's yeah, squad. Yeah. That's why it's the all Stephs. Everybody that want to hoop like Steph is on his squad, right. and everybody that want to hoop like Bron is on his squad. The, <laughs> like the freak physical athlete <laughs> is does, all on Bron's does squad. Does Steph have the better bench? Be yeah, that's true. Okay, Bron has a better team to me altogether. We said off top, Bron's starting lineup was probably better than Steph's starting lineup. Let's see what that reserves. So you got Russ at the one, Bill at the two. Uh, you got Lamarcus. He could play got, four or five. You got Kevin uh, Hayes. He could play four or five. KP is the four or five. Depot. You KP. got a couple of Old Depot's playing your three if you're if you're running a five man bench lineup. It, uh, KP's coming in at the unicorn spot. You either got yeah, you have <laughs> KP and John Wall at the unicorn spot. Uh, those wild card spots. Yo, shout out to Victor Old Depot for playing hey. up this year as well. Oh, yeah, yep, shout getting out to him the all star spot. And he dropped the R and B album too. Did he really? Yeah, he and having, he did stand up. He did stand up. I saw he's him. Having, he's having a good year all around. And they got PG and he's uh, and he and he and him and, the, and he's got his girl too, uh, Brian Miles. Oh word, yeah. They uh they live in that uh that Yoruba love. <laughs> Shout out to them. Uh, John is John Wall even gonna make the All Star team? John Wall about he's to hurt, he's hurt right he now. He just had oh, a second yeah. opinion. He about to get a second opinion on his knees because he supposedly needs surgery. And this is always funny to me too when it comes to All Star break is where got like how important the All Star game is to you as opposed to being healthy. Right. Because, I mean, we saw, what, uh, Carmelo, uh, one of the seasons he got voted in, he, he, was he barely for, played. He was hurt for a week and or then, two before. And then, and then made sure to get his start in the yeah. All-Star game. And, 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 and that is true. There is incentives like that. And then, and then shut so down. So thinking about money over. And then shut down yeah, the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, thinking about money over winning, basically, essentially. He shut down the Schwab, rest of the Schwab, season. Schwab, no one Schwab, can see right now. You're making Schwab, go ahead and an, Go ahead and answer that, Schwab. No, I'm... First of all, I'm shutting the phone off. Nobody can even see that my phone was ringing right now because we have a good graphic up. So you're obviously not understanding the magnitude of the, of the, of the moment right I'm now. I'm just trying to figure out, I mean, is your head focused on... My head uh, is focused. Someone's uh, trying to call and get a ride. Can we put Steph's back up there real quick? No one wants to see our bloody faces right now. <laughs> Look, you got uh, Dame, Clay, and Jimmy with Draymond and Kat. That their second now now Steph's squad has and, a better and, second. And, and unit. That's what I think. Yeah. I think their bench is definitely How better. How though? How? Well, because you it's, got because like, uh, like these are all role players except yeah. for Jimmy Butler and Dame Lillard. Yeah, it's almost like cats a role player. It's almost like the and other. Kat. It's almost like the other guys think they're not role players, and that's what's gonna hurt. Them. <laughs> <laughs> these guys know they're role yo, players. Yo, so. yo, I'm just gonna come out and say this, man, and and, and y'all can kill me off all you want. Oh, here we go. With yo, new, Draymond new Green. Does, Draymond Green does not deserve to be on this All Star team, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everybody telling me that. Uh, Paul, Paul George, George and Chris Paul instantly 
over Draymond Green, who's averaging okay, ten points. Let me, let me who's say, averaging ten points a game? This, let me say Come this on. though. Oh, let oh, me say this. He though. gets the All Star spot because he's a glue guy. Cause no, because he's, he's a front prime court, glue guy. Front court and guards they have to do the whole Man. front court back court. And Paul oh. George is and Paul George is a front court. <laughs> yeah, I'm hey, a, Paul yeah. George is on the squad. What are you complaining about? He had to wait for somebody had to get injured. Is in order he for on the All Star squad? Yo, yo, somebody can somebody tell me what makes Draymond Green an All Star? Yeah, I'm about to look up this man's stats. Right? We about to put him on that no hey, screen. You know why? Because he plays defense. Yo, Draymond <laughs> average he yells a lot. So Eleven he's... points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. So he's basically he's got uh, Lonzo numbers. So why ain't basically, Lonzo in the All Star. So game? basically, he's a great value, LeBron. <laughs> I'm hot at what you just said. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this guy's a forward version of Alfred Payton. <laughs> Yo, he's a great value LeBron, but he yells and screams a lot, so we he he he's right in our face, so we we all think he's Yo, let's than see what, what this is. man per 36 looks like. It's probably something crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh. yo. Man, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like seeing. Okay, thank, thank no, time out, time out. I don't like seeing four Golden State Warriors on there. But I will say, me and Kurt were talking about this earlier. I looked at the standings just now. The Warriors are forty and ten. They're forty and ten right now. But like, what are right, so, pl- they, so, like- so that determines how many people can come off your team, though. Like, just because they got a good record. Casual. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I guess, man. Draymond, I just, and y'all over, hating I'm on me. I'm over, I'm over Draymond Green in his narrative that he's just some like great player. Yo, like, like he finna finesse his, listen, he finna finesse yo, his way into the Hall yo, of Fame. Yo, listen, off, listen, uh, <laughs> listen, listen, yo, that, look, hey, come on, yo, man. rappers do this every day, B. All right, they. <laughs> Yo, he's they, more of a wrestler than he is a, a basketball player. <laughs> Shouts out, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Yo, somebody get this man a uh, Vince McMahon or something like that. Hey, Draymond in the XFL. Hey, I was say, put Dre in the XFL. <laughs> yeah, like, you, put play, Dray, uh, look, you put Draymond, look, you here. put Draymond on, on the Detroit. <laughs> you put Draymond on the Detroit Pistons. Are we even talking about this guy? Nah, man. Remember I exposed Draymond two hey. seasons ago. <laughs> you, hey, but time about, out. You about put how, Draymond on about the Pistons. If this man did have the two greatest, <laughs> if he didn't have the, the greatest shooting backcourt in history, he'd be garbage. If you put Draymond on the Pistons right now, he's instantly the best player on that squad. Draymond he still ain't gonna make the play. Yeah, J- Draymond. Yeah, Dray- <laughs> Drummond still ain't making an All Star squad. Yeah, Draymond will average like 17, 8, and 8 and shoot like like 34% from the field. <laughs> he be shoot, he be jacking up 10 yeah. things again. Hey, what were Something those crazy. per what were those per 36 numbers? Yo, he be jacking up, yo, if Draymond <laughs> if Draymond had his own squad, he'd be shooting like eight, nine threes a game. <laughs> Yo, and, yo, and the crazy thing is his contract's coming up, right? Yo, imagine his contract's his, coming up. Imagine Draymond pulled up off the dribble <laughs> for like for like Orlando or something like that. Yo, I, I, no, yo, what's no, no, Hezzy, no Hezzy community, yo. no Hezzy community, please. Uh, what if do you I'm thoughts hating, on Draymond? If I'm hating, man, please tell Yo, me. But I just want to know listen, what's so good about this guy. Listen, if Draymond he plays, it, he play, he is a very good defender. If Draymond embraced oh, that is clear. If he embraced like a uh, like role player tech. I probably rock with him like knee braces and stuff like that, right, right. like elbow braces. I probably rock with him a little more, you right. know what I'm saying? But <laughs> like, like little, if he looked more like a bruiser, right? <laughs> if he looked more like, a, <laughs> like if he, <laughs> he needs more swag. He's a he's a walking talking ejection. He needs like roll t- roll tech. <laughs> Hey, to be to be quite honest, <laughs> hey Draymond, I, I hope you watch it. No hezzy too. Hey. Yo, Oscorp roll tech. <laughs> I hope you watch it. No yeah. hezzy, Dre. Draymond's per 36 numbers are only slightly. I think you were right. looking at per 36. Yeah, they're, he, they're only slightly he plays better. Like 40 minutes again, Look, right? He is, he is the great value LeBron James. He's LeBron James if you took away all his athleticism and court mission. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he does got good passes. And, and he's passing the ball to the greatest <laughs> shooters Yo. of all time. Yo, hey, hey, I ain't going to lie, bro. This, this Draymond, like, hey, I ain't going to lie. He has the best but, players listen, to pass to. Listen, he really ain't got good court vision. He just makes good plays. You know what I mean? Right. He just makes the right play. He makes the right play. He makes the right the play. The end of this episode has become a Draymond Green evisceration right now. Yeah, we talking. Yo, somebody about- needs to castrate this man. <laughs> He's yo, this y- y'all seen this dude's interviews. 
Hey, Marcus, you know, I'm, yo, this dude's in interviews talking like he is literally, you know, like like he's got the keys. Right. Like he's like, like, like I could just see him in the future talking about how goat he was when he was playing during this era and like. Like the things he brought to the Yo, table, and it's, and it's ticking me off. Commercial, his YouTube TV commercial. That commercial was funny. I ain't gonna lie. I hated. It. I thought it was so stupid. He can't act. That's for it sure. It was horrible. He had these pirates running around, swashbuckling with him, and it was horrible. Yo, man. Yeah, Draymond. I'm sorry, man, but yeah. Oh man. CP should be an all star. That's the only snub I could technically say. Yo, shout um, out to Brian Windhorse. I hate Brian Windhorse. Windhorse, I hope you're listening right now. You're worthless. You see that how y'all like, y'all y'all Jason see how Whitlock. I just set you, you see how I just set up Swab? <laughs> you got me angry right now. You see how I just set this man oh, up? Oh, Swab. Hey, nah, nah. I was saying that because uh cause Draymond Lightweight got at him about uh about uh about him commenting about Draymond saying uh he said something to where Brian. Oh yeah, Draymond said uh, all the refs in the league should be fired, and Brian Windhorse kind of made like you know like a little little it's joke about it. yeah. Little, so Draymond responds back, says uh, you know don't you know I'm I'm not the topic of, of your conversation today. Don't talk about me, no neck. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. I wish we had. The... Yo man, so. Yo, when, uh, yeah. Winhorse, Winhorse do be out of line though. Yo, but how does Draymond? How does he have the right to to talk about? He he, he finessed himself he, into that position. He gives the saying. media stuff to talk about. He finessed he finessed himself into the national narrative. So now we think right. that he's more right. than what right. he is. Right. And in reality, he is a role player. On you know, arguably one of the greatest teams of all time. Is, is, is he the best it, role player I was of say, all time? Is, he role <laughs> <laughs> is Draymond the is, best role player is, of all time? Is he a better role player than Pippen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told y'all we Draymond were going to is KD, is Steph, and Clay Scotty Pippen. Oh man, yo, is he the go role player? <laughs> I'm gonna say he's one. I'm trying to think B. of like I'm trying to think of like I mean like Byron Scott. <laughs> somebody on that, somebody on one of those Lakers squads, maybe. Gotta be yeah. there. Yeah, man, this is crazy. You said Byron Scott. Yeah, we so really in that, the new NBA, y'all. You said Byron Scott. I'm thinking Brian Russell. And I'm I'm thinking to myself, he was a solid role player, but I wouldn't put him in the category of GOAT role player. Oh man. Uh Robert Ory. Robert Ory, yep. Don't mention that man. He's got Big like, shot Bobby. He's, yeah, Bobby. yeah. Big shot, Bobby was good. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bowen. Yeah. That corner three game was definitely on lock. The original three and D. Yeah. That yeah. pure three. Yeah, and D. he started the three. Uh, he started. He was pure. Yeah. <laughs> he, they literally. Danny uh, Green's pops. Basically. He literally <laughs> pop literally uh, created that created that uh, role to to deal with Kobe Bryant in the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. Pop for years has been thinking. We I need a throwaway I, player. Basically. I need I need I need a Bruce Bowen player who's way better on offense. I, that, Kawhi Leonard, I need that new that new age nah. Bruce Bowen, that hybrid Bruce Bowen. Nah, Kawhi is a whole different monster. Kawhi is a two way, but he started two -way his career superstar. as that three and D. He wasn't really, nah, he a, three. He wasn't really a three. Yeah, he couldn't shoot. Couldn't shoot. He's more yeah. just a D that He's was just, bringing his, his, his game, offensive game along. Lockdown defender, two and yeah. D. That yeah. that uh, yeah, he was a lockdown. That created it. That that uh that. That uh, blossomed his offensive he game. He manifested a whole D. new reality for himself. Lay up and D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Duncan D. <laughs> How are we going to end this? Schwab? A Claw and D. How are we going to end this? Is, uh, was there any other snubs, all star snubs? Was CP and Paul George only snubs? I'm we glad had, that Dame made it. We had oh, Lou Will's crying about not making the squad. Did he cry about and, it? Andre Drummond, yeah. Andre Andre Drummond was crying about not making the squad. But I mean, the Pistons suck. So, you know the Pistons? <laughs> like, yo, like, why do you want to make an all-star team? The Pistons for the first the two months of the season were actually top three in the East. In the last three weeks, four weeks, they've lost like 12 out of 13 games and have dropped five games. Well, Reggie five Jackson games. also got injured as well. I think he's done for the season. Reggie Jackson's been washed. Come on, man. 
I'm not a fan of Reggie Jackson. Yeah, but, I'm but, but Wash though. <laughs> I'm well, just, I actually, just, I just well, 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 Reggie well, Jackson was never there to begin with. I was going to say, say washed. you can't be washed without <laughs> having an established career first. I just want to see what his numbers <laughs> were this year. You, Leak, you've always had a soft spot for Reggie Jackson. I think he's, I think he's a good point guard. He's not a point guard. He's masquerading as a point guard. Hey, think about this. OKC chose campaign over, over Reggie Jackson. He, was, he played up for a few years. He was uh, he was he was running the best pick and roll in the league when he first got to uh, Detroit. Yeah, I don't know what Detroit's gonna do with that. I mean, they, stopped, they, didn't, they weren't even really running that. Much. Yeah. Like when when uh, when uh, Stan Van upgraded this season, he did the upgrade. Yeah. Let's update. They got Kennard playing a lot of minutes. Yeah, they do. Which he's been, he's been, he's been playing well. Yeah, he's yeah. Been quite well. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, dude. fifteen and five. Fifteen and five. What was he shooting? That was like Darren Collison. Shooting yeah, I was 40, gonna say like shooting who is 49, he? Drew Holiday. Shooting forty nine. Yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> Thirty three. Yeah, I mean he's pretty much basically playing playing basic. You know, playing basic. Uh, I Jordan, would say, Jordan I would say, Clarkson, slight, slightly above average point guard. Jordan play. Clarkson is nice at fifteen than, uh, and five. <laughs> Reggie Jackson. I was gonna say, fifteen, we, at fifteen and five on yo, 40, Jordan 40 Clarkson and thirty is nicer than Reggie Jackson. Facts. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm taking Jordan Clarkson all day over Reggie Jackson. Hey, Jordan Clarkson over Reggie Jackson. Quick question. I know how we can end this, guys. Well, I was gonna say it's a great way to have a great episode and then end it talking about the damn Pistons. Nah, seg. I know, right? Segwaying. On that topic, trade deadline also coming up. What give me guys? one. Give me each. Give me one player that needs to be traded. Not maybe not needs, but that maybe should be traded. And not don't say George Hill. Damn. I was gonna like be, you both gonna say George Hill. I was like, definitely on. I, uh, I was definitely on um, betting in the back of my. You know head. what? We're gonna end the show there. We don't need to talk about trade deadline. You just trying to get this George hey, Hill. Wait, no, no. It's, uh, what was it February eighth? That's coming up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be meeting at least two, who's gonna, two who's more gonna times. Be a, who's gonna be the biggest player moved before deadline? George Hill. <laughs> nah, I was uh, I was hearing rumblings that uh, that uh, the Clippers are trying to move uh, Lou Will. What we're gonna take back Shumper and Channing Fry like whoop de doo. Maybe whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. Like what are they gonna? Oh, so we get contract solidify off the books the, now. Solidify the tanks. What was the point of paying the guy? I just don't understand. That was that was probably the worst signing. You got you got a you got a uh, two and D uh, shooting guard for uh, for uh, for um, your point guard going into the future. Okay, no no knees and no D as our point guard. Then. Hey, we look, Tiana, about D Rose. Tiana Taylor will be in Sacramento if Shumpert is in Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox, uh, Mon Shumpert. Think about Shumpert. that first. And De'Aaron Fox and Mon Shumpert. Uh, Tiana uh, Taylor. Uh, jo Josh Jackson and Channing Fry uh, with Willie Collins. You're being the you're trolling now. Justin Jackson. <laughs> Y'all have said Josh Jackson a couple of the last couple of times. Justin Jackson and Channing the hell Fry. Out of me. That wing, that, uh, that, 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 that docile that, wing that play. Wing. <laughs> God. I might have to stop watching games. Does DeAndre happens. get moved? Bro, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know, I, man. See, I mean, I didn't want to talk about all I don't, even, I don't even air. know if anybody could. I think there's going to be a lot of stupid small trades. Like, not even good role players getting traded. Just, just. Trying to find a new, Lake show, new the place. Lake show, I feel like the Lake Show can and most likely will move they somebody, need to make a move. Jor, uh, Julius Randle? Off Clarkson and off Nance while you're at it. I want to keep Nance. Throw, you want to throw Ingram in? Now you want to keep Nance? Y'all were ready he's to get... A, he's a human. He's was a human it guy. you or was it you that was ready to get Look at this guy. Both of y'all ready to get rid of Nance soon as, soon as, soon as, soon as any, soon as any, any talk, any, any talk of somebody being moved, uh, you want to move him now? Uh, 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 well, <laughs> no, I'm saying I you mean, guys yeah. didn't, you didn't Yo, want to move Nance. Now, all a, of a sudden, Larry you're fine with Nance. Nance. Larry's interchangeable. Uh, Trump, Trump, you already know that they didn't gone through every train, <laughs> yeah. scenario, 
Look, why would I have to stay out of the why would I get sometimes because it comes a Laker love fest in there and them going on about the Lakers squad. I almost re I almost renamed it in there to Lakers love fest one day because you're going a whole day talking about the Lakers. Well, we're just, yo, yo, we're just yo, anticipating yo. when we win our chip again. I mean, like you, mean you start your own group for listen, it then talk about listen. your Lakers. Hey, look, hey, look, not over it's not hey, look, a, flow. Schwab, I, I get your frustration. I get your frustration. Oh, trust me, I'd still but, rather but, have my squad right now than your squad. Don't be, don't, don't Isaiah Thomas us because we're mm. trying to think about the future <laughs> of our franchise. All right. Hey, my now, why would I want to get your is in the Panzer tank? I'm ready to go. Why would I want to get rid of the Human we're Bleacher Report post on. in uh, Larry Nance? The human, why would I want to get rid of that? <laughs> The he, the human tomahawk. Nah, we yeah the human tomahawk. We can we can wait for Paul George, uh, you know, and after what OKC, a, after OKC loses in the second round this just year. Just wait, just sign there. Hey, just trade anybody. Just keep tanking, and you guys try to get up in your draft. Pool. And like and, and and like Leek said earlier, we'll take Demarcus Cousins, but not at max money. No, <laughs> absolutely. That's a good way to end it right there. Yeah, I'll take him, <laughs> not at max money. We ain't got no pick either. Hey, hey, you know, y'all a little, hey, you, you, you know, y'all sprinkling a little you salt. That's all you need. Y'all sprinkling a little salt. No, I'm just saying, we don't, have a, we don't have a pick I, I this year. Tell. Salt, man. Oh, salt, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> in the show. Dude. Hey, yo, hey, show. follow us on Twitter, uh, at No Hezzy Hoopcast. No Hezzy Hoopcast on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, uh, YouTube. You can check out our, our videos later on YouTube. You've already followed us on Twitch right now, but it's at No Hezzy Hoops. You can hit us up, watch us on there later on, too. And uh, shout out to Draymond Green. <laughs> shout out to Brian Winhorse. <laughs> shout, shout out Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> and Reggie Jackson. Screw it. And George Hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, peace and love.